this evening it's brian coming at you from uh clown world studios because i got nothing else to say so here we are it's a clown world that we're living in at this moment in time and it's definitely going to be um, an interesting time for us over the next few years few months few weeks it's pretty exciting to see uh how many people are out there and i, I enjoy all the conversations and the uh, text messages and the facebook interactions that we've been getting over the last couple weeks especially the last couple of days. I know there's been a lot of questions about my thoughts and my opinions. And I can tell you that um, it, it's been, it's been a, a, an interesting couple of days to say the least. So I just got, uh, am I hearing that there's no sound? Oh yes. Okay. Thank you. Let me check on that. Is that better now? Okay, good. Sorry about that. I didn't know what happened on that. So um, I just want to kind of go over a topic that's been really like near and dear to me over the last couple of days is uh, the topic of disinformation. We, I have talked to so many people in the last 48 hours that are literally like just so defeated and I don't want them to be defeated. I want everybody to be like, Hey, either be motivated, uh, be convicted. Don't be sad. Don't be defeated. Don't, we're, we're not going to be the uh, conservative versions of the liberals that were going on social media and on the news and talking about all of the, the, you know, how the end of the world's happening, this side of the other, because we have a chance and we have a choice and that choice starts with us. Like, so, Let's start with what's really been happening. First of all, there's a lot of disinformation. This is a big topic for me because I listen to a lot of shows and there's a couple, I'm not going to name them out tonight. There was a couple that were tonight that are very credible that have millions and millions and millions of viewers. And the problem that people have when they listen to the experts, and there's so many of them anymore, right? You have so many influencers, you have so many media personalities and everybody's out there like touting like they're, 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 they know everything that's going on and then it doesn't happen or doesn't come to pass. So like I talked about last night, they move the goalpost and they start giving new dates and new information and new things are going to come out and people get excited. And when it doesn't, you're on this emotional high and low. And what's happening is, is that you're becoming less and less in tune with reality and more in tune with what could be, would be, or can be. Now, I'm not saying that there's a lot of things that we're not going to see, but nothing has hit the mark. Not a single thing has hit the mark since the election. So at what point do we move on? What point do we allow ourselves to move forward and start looking at the information that we're given and start separating ourselves emotionally from the disinformation? Here's the big problem. We are overwhelmed with disinformation from the time we wake up to the time we go to sleep, from big news, from big media, from social media outlets, and from influencers. Not saying that people aren't convicted with this information that they're giving you, but we're putting a lot of faith in the people we don't really know or really haven't vetted just because of the fact that they're 
big personalities and they have a huge following. Just because you have 40 million people following doesn't mean that everything you say is 100% accurate. And if you go on and, and, and talk about everything you have as being the gospel and people bite into that, you're playing with people's hopes that it's not really fair. Now, education is a key to everything we do in life. It's important to know what's being said and how it's being said and to do our own research. But I think what's happening is a lot of people are giving up the idea of doing their own research because it's easier to be reactive than proactively looking at the information that they have and going to do something about it. So we are sitting in a time, literally a time, where there has never been such a mass amount of information being processed every day. And when you look at the amount of information that you're reading and listening to and engaging with, it is astronomical. I look at just the fact that we write so many millions of words in our lifetime and we are receiving so many million hours of other people's words and their speeches and their their thoughts and their opinions that at some point we lose the, 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 the ability to remember that we have to be able to formulate our own thoughts. And if that doesn't make sense to you, it's probably because I'm a little crazy anyway. The shirt says it all. I'm dangerous, right? Because I'm a little weird. I'm a little out there. But I'm a real live person that believes 100% in this country. And I believe 100% in the people I interact with every day. And I wear that passion on my heart and on my sleeve every single day from the time I wake up until the time I go to sleep. So the one thing that I've been struggling with the last 48 hours more than anything is all of these conversations and people are saying, what about, what about, what about, what about? And I look at them and say, has it come true? Has it been accurate? Is it the way it is? And at the end of the conversation, the answer is no. So you have to start saying, okay, do I want to have hope? You should always have hope, but you have to create your own path and not worry about if this is going to happen, you have to be prepared. And I said this before, I would rather be a prepared fool than a fool that is not prepared. And you can take that statement however you want, because I'm the biggest fool out there. I am a prepared fool. If the world was to end today, I'd be prepared for it. If we were to go into a global lockdown, I'd be prepared for it. Mentally, physically, emotionally, I'm ready for it, right? But I'm also prepared to have to live the life we have now. And I'm seeing that that's the issue that people are having is they're not prepared to live the life they have now because they weren't ready for it. They didn't prepare for it. They bit so heavily into what was going on and into what some media personality was telling them that they lost sight of the fact that they what, what if it didn't happen? I'm the biggest pessimist out there. So I'm like, OK, let's do this. And then what if and let's do this. And then what if? But. I live my life knowing that the what ifs could be there, not living the what ifs, knowing that real life is there. Think about what I'm saying, guys, because we lose ourselves in social media and we lose ourselves in the ability to remember that we're living life. We're not living the what ifs. Things have been happening and it has been discouraging and it has been really at the heart of it all. It has been uh, uh mind altering to watch what's going on in our country. And America is truly divided in a way it hasn't been divided since, uh, let's just use the word civil war. It goes back. We have so many people who cannot allow or embrace the thoughts and opinions of other people that it is causing so much animosity and so much vitriol and hatred that we see it online. If you post a comment that somebody doesn't agree with, you're going to get lit up. I posted something on ABC 15 the other day. And I got lit up. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen because I can take it and I don't allow this stuff to really bother me. But that's where we're at because people are so ingrained into what is happening and what they believe is happening that it just takes them off down the road. We have to remember to live life first. Live life first. Live the best life that we can live, including being the best person that we can be and the best people we can be to the other people in our lives and the people we meet and the, and the guy that's homeless and the guy that, that may be down on his luck or the guy that's up on his luck that may be, you know, remembering that the only way to get those two people to connect and those four people to connect and these people to connect is to be right with ourselves. 
and to live in a life that the information that we're giving and receiving is the most accurate we can give. So just because you see something, don't always forward it because you're going to crap on somebody else's day and you don't even realize it because you never know how someone's going to receive this. I'm going to give you a real quick uh, story and then I'm going to jump out of here because last night I overwhelmed you guys for like 30 minutes and I just went off on a tangent. So about 14 weeks ago, and I almost to the day, I have this really good friend of mine, best friend that I probably have in the entire world. Every day I was getting posts and, and Facebook messages and emails about uh, from Alex Jones and Infowars and, and uh, Dan Bongino. And you start taking all these things in consideration. And if you take stuff at face value and the experts that they have on their show, it really gives you a, a thought process that, okay, I need to start living my life for the information they're giving me not living my life in preparation that what if. And I told them all the time, I told him, I was like, he was so uh, depressed. He started not going to his business. He Every time I talked to him, you could just tell he was down. And I'm like trying to stay super positive and just move forward. And I felt so bad for him. One day I told him, I'm like, dude, you've got to get yourself away from it. You've got to stop. You've got to stop letting it rule you because all of this mass amounts of information is crushing you and we it crushes us because we're emotional people people are generally emotional and he really really wanted to embrace it and grab onto it and and make it hope that it was real and then he started living the hope and not the life that's a that's a big thing we have to start living the life and one of the first things i'm going to tell you that turn it off and you don't have to turn it off in a literal sense. You don't have to, you can metaphorically turn something off because you can choose how you receive the message. When you're talking with someone or you're reading something, you can choose how you receive the message. You can choose how that message, how that message is, is taken into your heart and into your soul and into your mind and how much it's going to dictate the way you're going to move forward in life. Choose to live your best life. Choose to choose to be the best person you can be and allow whatever's going to happen to happen, knowing that we will have to evolve with it. So on that note, I think I have one more thing I want to talk about, but I'm like so like excited about everything. I'm always excited, So I'm uh, I, I'm really like, you know, I, I really appreciate all the phone calls and I've really tried to listen and, and be there and and answer all the texts. And I know a lot of you guys, I haven't been able to get back to, and I do apologize for that. I get into some really deep rooted conversations. Here, here's what I'm going to tell you. And I'm going to keep bringing this call to action. If we want change for tomorrow, we start today. And I'm going to continue to say, we need to embrace, we need to empower, we need to equip. We need to, we need to, to get people ready for the next generation of leaders. And no matter where you're at, no matter what you're doing or how you're doing it, if you want that change to happen, you've got to be the, the catalyst for it to happen. And I'm just trying to be a little catalyst and throw some pebbles in the pond and hope that I get some ripples in some ways with people that join me by throwing their pebbles in the pond with me too. So on that note, remember, disinformation is the key to what's happening. Optics is everything. You're going to hear this word and you're going to hear it all the time. Optics is everything. It is a it is a war of your mind. It is a war of your soul. It is a war of your emotions. You can win that battle every single day by not allowing it to get to you, and especially when you're online. Don't be the person that's always posting negative. When you see something negative, post something positive. Uh, my friend Beth just posted, focus on what is in front of you and what you can control, and I fully agree with that. Don't allow the rest of the world to dictate who you are and what you're going to be. And let's continue to be better people. Let's continue to come together. Let's continue to share thoughts, feelings, emotions, and learn more about our neighbors and our friends so that we can figure out how to make the changes that we want to make. I continue to say, be the change. I will be the change. And I hope you guys are riding that car with me. As always, be good to each other. Know that I love you. And I will talk to you all again real soon.